so everything is okay. Um, yes, I'm eating raw gingerbread dough. It doesn't have eggs in it. Even if it did, I would probably still eat it because that's just how I am. And I let my kids eat stuff like that too. Um, but the gingerbread house is out of the oven and cooling. The focaccia house is out of the oven and hardening. Hopefully it will be able to bear the weight of the meats and cheeses. <laughs> but um, I also have just some gingerbread, a big pan of gingerbread in the oven right now. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be having, hopefully we're gonna be making some homemade pretzels as well. Tonight's goal is lots of munchies and finger foods to go with the New Philharmonic concert we're watching and all the games that we're going to play. All right, um, so it is mid-afternoon. I've sent the two younger boys out to run and frolic in the whatever's left of the snow. Um, they could be back at any moment, I don't know. But um, let's talk about New Year's. I don't really make resolutions. Um, I think that just in general, I try to do better than I have the day before every day. I try to try to look at every day as a new beginning. Um, and in our family, we do words for the new year that we focus on. Uh, the last two years words. So two years ago, it was discernment. And last year it was reset. So, um, I've been very hesitant to pick my word for 2021 because the last two years I have picked those words and I picked them in like October. And um, two years ago I picked discernment and um, I had to use my discernment a lot because of our house and like so much, so many decisions that had to be made that year. And then last year, reset. I mean, I think the entire world reset. So um, after that happened, I thought, oh my goodness, I I don't know if I uh, should pick a word for 2021. <laughs> I feel like I'm jinxed or something. Um, so I, but I have chosen one. As of the other day, I chose reawakening. Um, I think that's a positive. I hope. <laughs> I kept trying to think, well, what could be bad <laughs> with that word? <laughs> um, but reawakening is my word for 2021. Um, and I, I, I'm hoping that uh, the world will reawaken. I'm hoping that the arts will be able to reawaken. I'm hoping that um, everything can be rekindled and reawoken and come back to life. But for me personally, I was just like at the, at the beginning of like coming back out of my uh, hibernation of being a mother um, and raising little kids and coming back and doing music and doing theater and acting and, and things like that. I was just starting at the beginning of 2021. I was determined. And then everything stopped. So, um, yeah, wah, boo-hoo, sob story. Everybody has had it really rough. I'm sure way worse than, than I have. I'm really thankful for the, the positives from this year. There have been so many positives and we've grown so much as a family and in our faith. And, um, so there's a lot of really good things that have happened in 2020 for us, but me personally, you know, wah, boo hoo feels, I, I don't want anybody to like feel sorry for me <laughs> because, because I have a fantastic life. But um, 
in 2021, my word is reawakening. So, fingers crossed. <laughs>